Welcome to section 1.7, Simplifying Expressions. Hopefully by the end of this, you all will be able to simplify expressions by adding and subtracting like terms and by distributing with multiplication. So a little bit of vocabulary so that we're all talking the same math language. Uh, when I talk about a coefficient, a coefficient is a number, it's a constant that's multiplied by a variable. So it's the big number out front inside of the term. A variable is an unknown quantity. It's usually represented by some sort of a letter like X or Y. And an exponent is the little tiny number, which tells me how many times that factor is multiplied by itself. So I have a little example down here with four X to the seventh. So the four is the big number out front. That's the coefficient. X is a variable because I don't know what it is. It's just a little letter. And the exponent is the seven. It's the little tiny number up top. All right, a little bit about terms and what are like terms. So again, we're all on the same page. Uh, terms is a single number, like a constant, or a variable, or the product of constants and variables. But the big thing is that terms are always separated by addition or subtraction. You can have things that are multiplied together, and that's one term. But once you start getting addition or subtraction in there, that separates terms out. When I talk about like terms, like terms are terms that have the same variable or variables, and they are raised to the exact same exponent or exponents, okay? So I have an example down here. I have 5x minus 7y plus 2x squared plus 9 minus 3x squared. Lots of things going on there. So the terms are always separated by addition or subtraction. So the 5x is a term minus 7y would be another term, and then you have a plus sign which separates it from the 2x squared, which would be another term, and then 9 would be a term, and 3x squared would be a term. So you notice that they're all separated by that addition or the subtraction. The like terms are just 2x squared and 3x squared. You notice that they have the same variable, they both have x's, and they're raised to the same exponent, they have squares. You'll notice that the 5x and the 2x squared, they're not like terms, because even though they have the same variable, they're not raised to the same exponent. So how do you actually add or subtract the like terms? So first off, only like terms can be added or subtracted. You have to have like things um, to add or subtract. Once you have those like terms, you just add or subtract the coefficients. Remember, those are the big numbers out front. And then the variable or variables, if you have more than one, they stay the same. So I have an example for you. We have 2m plus 5 plus 3m minus 7. So the like terms would be 2m and 3m because they both have m's to them. Also, 5 and 7 are like terms because they're just constants. They don't have a variable, which means that they're also alike. So we can add those two groups of things. So 2m plus 3m, if I want to add those, I would add the coefficients, which are 2 and 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, so 2m plus 5. 3m is 5m. You'll notice it didn't become 5m squared. We kept the variable the same. With the constants, uh, we have a positive 5 and a negative 7. And 5 minus 7 is negative 2. And it didn't add a variable or anything like that. Uh, it stayed a constant. So that's how that would simplify is to 5m minus 2. All right, what do you do if you have distributing and you have combining like terms all in the same problem? You actually follow the order of operations, which means that you're gonna multiply first, which would be doing your distributing, and then you add or subtract. So let's do a couple examples of that. The first one I have is four times six Y minus nine plus seven. So I'm gonna distribute my four first. So I'm gonna do four times six Y which would be 24y minus 4 times 9, which would be 36. And then I'm just going to bring down the plus 7. Then from here, do I have any like terms? Yes, I do. I have a negative 36 and a positive 7. Those are both constants, which makes them like terms. And negative 36 uh, plus 7 would be negative 29. So I'm going to bring down my 24y. And then I combine those together to get negative 29. 
And that's as simple as I can get it. I can't combine the 24y and the 29 because they're not alike. That would be like having 24 yo-yos and subtracting $29. Like they're just different from one another, okay? Uh, the next one looks like a lot of fun because we have a lot going on. I have negative four times five y minus seven plus three times two y minus five. So what I'm gonna do first is do all of my distributing. So the negative four distributes to the first parenthesis. I'm gonna have negative four times five y, which would be negative 20 y. And then I have negative four times negative seven, which would be a positive 28. Then I'm gonna distribute my three to the second parenthesis. So I'll have three times two y, which would be a positive six y. And I'll have three times five, which would be 15, and it's subtracted. So that'll be minus 15. Now that I've done all of my distributing, then I can combine some like terms. So I can combine my negative 20y with my 6y. Negative 20 plus 6 is negative 14. So negative 20y plus 6y would be negative 14y. And then I can combine my constants together. I have positive 28 uh, minus 15, and 28 minus 15 is positive 13. So I'll have a plus 13 as my other term. And that's what it looks like to simplify these. All right, next up, you guys get to try one. So show me how much you've learned. Good luck.